Hey, clinical researchers wrapping up a day of monitoring here at one of the hospitals I monitor here in LA uh, with the interns for the CRA Academy. I'm very excited about that. I got a question this week from a viewer who's asking me to explain a little bit about washout period in clinical research. So every protocol is different, but some protocols require patients to come off of their current medications before they are put on the study drug. So this period between after screening and before randomization is known as the washout period. You don't start the washout until you know that the patient's going to qualify for the study. So you don't just take someone off their meds just because they're coming in to screen. You do the screening visit first, informed consent, you go through all the IE criteria and everything else. Then if it looks like the patient's going to qualify, you start the washout period. So the washout is when they're taken off of their medication and the protocol will specify exactly what to do, how many days or weeks it's gonna take, what to do for each medication, okay? So that's a washout period. Once they come off of their medication, they can be put on to the study drug or in some cases placebo. Again, every protocol is different. Um, the inverse of this is what's known as a run-in period. So during a run-in period, same thing, patient is screened, now they want the patient to get put on a medication before they get randomized. This is known as a run-in period. So they're not getting put on the study drug in many cases. They're getting put on another treatment prior to randomization. Some studies require a washout and a run-in. So these are terms you're gonna to have to be very familiar with if you wanna do coordinating, monitoring, or just anything else in clinical research. These are not the norm, but they are not uncommon in clinical research. So wash out and run in. Hopefully that helps. Talk to you later.